6.32 in the morning. It is a stunningly gorgeous Sunday morning, and that can only mean one thing. That is car show time. Today is Malibu Cars and Coffee taking this 2016 Ram Eco, no, Ram Laramie, no, Ram 1500 Laramie Eco Diesel. <laughs> this is not a normal car that you would have in the show, but this is the car that I have this week. So I'm gonna park it in there. Anybody who's interested in trucks can go check it out. But this is episode 412, and you're watching Fireball Malibu Vlog. Let's go! It's Wes. Good morning. What's up? Okay, so what did you do yesterday? So yesterday I drove to a show called the Big Bear Fun Run in the morning, and then I went to another show called SoCal Hoedown in the afternoon. So that's like two hours one way and then two for, hours For those of you that don't know, it's probably in, in other places, in other states, you'd be going cross state. Yeah, basically. It is about 7.30, uh -huh. and it's already full. Everywhere. Everywhere. The yeah. entire lot is full, and we have cars parking way down there, too. Yeah. That's a good sign, man. That's an unbelievable, and a ton of spectators. A ton like, of spectators. Yeah. This is Steve. We're at Malibu Cars and Coffee, as we usually are. Early in the morning. And you brought your cool portion. I did, 74 portion. And, and we have amazing coffee. We do, but best coffee. But where are you going soon? I'll be driving it up to Pearl Beach next week for the auctions and uh, the concourse. What's the three top reasons you want to go to Pebble Beach? Um, driving up the coast is one. That's always fun. I'm going to go to the Quail. Never been to that before. It's an awesome. event. Awesome. And then there's the uh, auctions. Uh, Gooding will be pretty awesome. Yeah. Are you, are you going to buy something? Mm, just probably for, not, but just the experience. Just let's let's go with yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever the most expensive one is. You know, it doesn't that. really matter whether you buy something. No, it just matters no. that you go and... Exactly. And There's nobody you knows. Know. Nobody knows when you're there. Yeah. Most of yeah. the guys that are buying cars are going up in torn jeans. Exactly. And they look like crap. Exactly. I always wear my best sweatpants and they think you're the richest guy there. What do you think, Wes? I think it's huge. This is Art, and uh, he brought in one of my favorites. This is, what year is this? 2016. 2016 Chevy Corvette. And it's got, it's convertible, it's got a lot of cool stuff. It's Z06 with a Z07 package, and uh, uh, I've had uh, three other Corvettes, and this is the best, best of all. Why Corvette for you? Um, I just, it's American, you know, muscle, it's kind of the flagship, yeah. and uh, it used to work at GM way back and, uh, in the tech center, and so I just am a car lover and nice. really appreciate American muscle. And 650 horse, 650 foot pounds of torque, it's got, got plenty of go. What was your first car? Uh, my first car was a uh, 66 GTO that I had a small block Chevy put in it and 12 volt rear and yeah. you know so I'm a I'm a you know hot rod a gearhead from way back. The worst thing I did was uh, uh, probably uh, you know got into a, a race with somebody, hit the oil pan, deep oil pan, and uh, yeah. it was ugly. So yeah. yeah. yeah well, see, shop. when I ask that question, it's there's like the seven year rule, so you can't uh -oh. get in trouble for whatever it is that you uh -oh. did. Oh well, no, no, I can't. Yeah, <laughs> something. Look, it's Michael. How's it going? Unbelievable turnout today, including amazing coffee by these guys. So this is Art. Uh, we're still at Malibu Cars and Coffee. You brought in a Ford Mustang. What year is this? 2015. Why, why, why this car for you? I got it for a daily driver. I have a 911 Carrera. Mm -hmm. Didn't want it to be my daily driver. Yeah. And sold my little uh, Volkswagen that I had. Yeah. Had seller's remorse. <laughs> had to replace it. This is a fun it. car. Oh, tell me about it. Had to replace car. it with something. Yeah. Oh, look at this face. Look at this face. How are you? Good morning. Morning. <laughs> Look who's sitting in the car. Oh, Michael. 
What do you think about the gas tank being so close to you? You know, it doesn't make me nervous. Not at all? And what makes me nervous is if you were driving this thing. Oh, yeah, That would sure. make me nervous. Actually, how could it... All right, these guys came from, came from Orange. Okay. And you have quite an extraordinary car. I mean, this, this to me is best of show because it's the most artful. It's the most creative most unique car that I've seen in a while and this is an amazing I, I'm not even sure you'd want to call this a rat rod because it's yeah. full custom I kind of don't like the term rat I mean I like rat rod but yeah just the term that just the name insinuates that it's kind of put together kind of sloppily yeah and I like a little more craftsmanship a little more thought a little well more, you're you're a blacksmith yeah okay so you you brought a lot of your talents into this car right and and what did this start out as uh, just a frame and a uh, cab from a uh, 36 Ford cab. Okay. And how long did it take you to build? Uh, on and off for about five years. Yeah, in between jobs and you know, here and there. You know. So, but why why this car? What inspired you to want to do this? Uh, actually, I have a chopper that I built called Ham Hammered Copper and uh, so on and so forth. But uh, these, my kids, never wanted to ride on doubles with me. Ah, so I went in a car so I could take the kids around. Yeah. We're sitting in this amazing hot ride. I don't even have words for this thing. It's all hammered copper and brass. Uh, every single piece of it is like an art piece. There isn't one area that's been untouched. Even the steering wheel. Look at that. That is incredible. What do you what do you think about your dad doing these things? Uh, my dad was really creative and artistic, and I think that this is just a glimpse of how talented he is. And you can really see that in all the details. It's extraordinary. You know, for a car, there are three levels. There's the level you see when the car goes by on the freeway. There's a level you walk up to it at about 30 feet, and then there's that tiny level where you walk up and see all the little details. And he's got that whole thing covered. Amazing, yeah. amazing stuff. You should be very proud of him. Yes, very, very cool. All right. Well, thanks for your time. Yeah. Thank okay. you. First time in Malibu Cars and Coffee's history, the entire back lot is now full. Probably about 250 cars today. Just like this takes hours and hours of work with a Brillo pad. Yeah. With a Brillo pad, and, and the scratches, each one is individually handcrafted. I, I heard he had to go back over it several times to get it just the way he wanted. You be good, Art. Right, you too. You be good. See you next time, Bart. Okay. Bye. Right. See you later. See you later. Yes. And a super quick change, and it's off to the beach. Do you know the code, John? Yes, I do. Do Watch. it. See? <laughs> that was really terrible. <laughs> is way back there and this is the colony beach where all the uh, big houses are there's nobody here at all except for us and three dogs let me tell you that's one rock you don't want on your finger I did it oh. <laughs> get a job you bum I'm trying to get a job, but I like being unemployed. It gives me all this free time. <laughs> you guys. See ya! <laughs> Uh, that was Stuart Wilson, who is uh, Bruce Willis's personal stunt double. He's an unbelievable lover of cars. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's bad. All right, let's get some lunch.
Sunday. Sitting here watching these guys play a really, really bad game of ping pong. I mean, horrible. Anymore. No, just hang around the parking lot. Just in the parking lot. Why is it that several people can stand next to a really cool car? and I'll get different interpretations of what that car is. Uh, some people might think it's cool, some people might think it's a gas guzzler, some people might think it's... Everybody has a different opinion about certain things. And each one of those opinions is truth for them. It's, you can't really convince them that it's otherwise. What most people don't realize is that truth is actually what we perceive it to be. And what I mean by that is that you look at something and you think it's this, and that's truth for you, and it's very hard to think otherwise. But people will do that, and they will create limitations for themselves. The goal in life, the, the secret, if you, if you will, is to be able to look at things and decide what you want them to be. Not what they are, not what you see with your eyes, but actually what they are, what you, what you perceive them to be. You can look at something and say, I want this to be cool or I want this to be a great experience, or, or the ability to choose. Our greatest gift as car people, as people that love living in beautiful places, is our ability to make good choices. I work every day to make the best choice possible, which is why I do these cars and coffee events, why I, I play with cars and I, and I uh, try to live the best life that I can. And through these vlogs, I get an opportunity to share that stuff with you guys. You have a choice in everything that you do. When you don't have a choice, or you say that you don't have a choice, that in itself is a choice. There are many people out there that struggle, and they struggle because they focus on the struggle. They think about the struggle. They immerse the struggle in their lives in every way, shape, or form. But you have to make better choices than that. You have to look beyond that perception and look to the truth. And the truth is, what do you want every situation to be? Every morning when I get up, I think about the day. I think about how I'm going to make this day the absolute best possible day that I can make. It. And that basically is setting the stage. It's determining through my choice that this day is going to be the way I want it to be. I'm not saying that it, this has to go into this and this has to go into that and that has to happen and that. I'm just saying that the day is going to be cool. I choose to be a car guy. I choose to love life. I choose to love you guys. I choose to pick something fun to do for a living. Now, if you're not getting exactly what you want in your life, it's because you're not making the best choices. You have to think about what you want and you have to focus on that and you have to keep that as a sustained thought. It's the hardest thing that a human being has to do in this world. Hold that thought onto what it is that you want so that you can make that happen. Long enough so you can make that happen. You can't put some, one, one thing out and then put something else out and then just keep going back and forth. So stay focused. Stay with me here on the vlog. Stay with me on this automotive journey because we're having a blast. We, we concentrate on fun stuff every day and we do it every day. We've been doing it for the last 412 days. Crazy. Share this vlog. Share it with people that 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 need that boost, that need that that sense of excitement in their life. That maybe they're struggling a bit. Say, you gotta watch this because this is fun. We're having a good time. And then if you see me at an event, if you see me at one of these car shows, tell me your story. Tell me someone else's story. Tell me the how the struggle turned into something cool. Those are your gifts to me. Okay, this is Blog 412. Keep it positive, people. We got awesome stuff happening this week. All kinds of stuff. So many things I can't even think about it all. It's just, it's just like, there's all kinds of things happening. But one thing I know for sure, it's going to be cool.